Hey guys, welcome back. Today I have a Mailbag Monday for you. Hey guys, welcome back. For those of you new to the channel, my name is Eric. Today I got a couple of packages in the mail and I uh, thought I'd share them with you today. And we'll just go through and see what we've got. So this big monster box is from uh, Myers Engineering, Myers Antennas in Florida. And I'm hoping that inside we should have ourselves a, an antenna suited for the NOAA weather sets. Let's take a look. Maybe we can get into this thing. Guessing customs. Oh, great. Peanuts. Awesome. What a pain these things are. Let me manage these for a second. Alright, let's take a look and see what we got. We have a run of coax. I don't know what that I know what the rating on this is, and it wasn't great. This is Harbor Industries. H HPF195. Um, actually, I think that is half decent cable. I'll have to double check that. Throw a comment down in the bottom of the chat section. Actually, I'm pretty sure that's pretty decent stuff. It's not very pliable, but uh, this will be a good run up to my attic where this antenna is going to live. Oh, she's a beast. Make a mess. Oh, there we are. That looks like something. Looks like we may even have some test data for this specific antenna. That'd be pretty cool. They actually send you out the evaluation for the antenna. Sure looks like it. It looks like they may have evaluated this one on September 24th. So, looks good. Let's, uh, let's have a look. Dude, we get into this thing. It ain't hurting me, can I? I'll throw a link down in the description of where I got this. I was, uh, going to build my own, but, uh, I thought I'd give a supplier a chance and see how their product works, especially something so modular and concealed and, and sealed up as this. That's a pretty good looking unit. It's, it's hefty. There is no question that is one hefty unit. Connector. Yeah, that is a, I should do the trick. So that's going to go up in the attic for uh, receiving the uh, NOAA weather sat imagery. Uh, should work from every direction. Pretty happy about that. We'll, uh, I'll do a video once I get it up and going. We'll decode some images. Let's have a look at the next box. All right, let's have a look here. This should be, if I'm lucky, should be a Comet DS150S discone style antenna that I'll be using for my uh, my SDR dongles mainly actually. I'm gonna mount this up in the attic. So this came from eBay. I did try and source it from a local supplier, uh, Durham Radio, which is uh, pretty close to, I think it's in Whitby, close to Toronto. Uh, unfortunately, as with the usual, when I try and order from them, I get a polite email shortly thereafter indicating this is out of stock and we won't have it for three to five weeks. So. I went on eBay and sourced it out of New York and uh, had it pretty quickly. I definitely am not in a rush. I could have waited, but I really didn't want to wait that long. Let's have a look. Some documentation. A nifty, nifty package. Lockport RW Antenna Store in Rockport, New York. So, mention this flyer for 10% off first purchase on our website. Hmm. 
wonder if that applies to anyone watching us. Anyway, uh, shipping was really quick. Did come with uh, customs and brokerage owing uh, at the door, unfortunate, but uh, hey, it is what it is. So here's the, the package. Uh, a lot of stuff I can't read on it, but uh, I did a lot of research on this exact antenna before I settled on purchasing it. From what I can tell, we're going to find out, we'll put it to the test, but from what I can tell, for the bang for the buck and the footprint it takes up for a commercial antenna, for our SDR dongles, this thing really looks like it might be the best all-around solution that I could find. Uh, we could definitely make one of these ourselves, no question, but uh, it comes with uh, it comes with the antenna and some cable. This one, I'm afraid, I don't think I can get cable out of there easy. Uh, I'm afraid the cable that comes with it, I know, is uh, is not the highest of quality. So what my plan is is I am going to string this cable anyhow. And I'm going to use it to hook to a long wire antenna strung around inside my attic, which I don't have currently. For this antenna, I already have RG8X strung to the attic for my dipole. Uh, I don't use the dipole to transmit, so uh, I can take that down for now. And uh, with the RG8X hooked to this, hooked to our USB software to find radio, uh, we should have no problems. Should be a good setup, I think. I see no reason why it wouldn't be. Uh, I can't remember the price on this thing. Uh, Google it and check it out, but it wasn't a horrible deal at all, considering you get a, a decent whack of of cable. So it is uh, it is RG58 AU. So uh, definitely not the greatest, but not the worst either. So I'm pretty sure my RG8X will be a fair bit better. Than so, uh, I'll just have to go through the, the nuts and bolts of it and see what we've got. Looks like uh, some basic hardware and we'll get this thing set up and we'll do some, some testing with it and see how it works on the SDRs. Uh, if it works as good as I think for uh, basically across the band, um, across the frequency range, we should be pretty good. So there we have it guys, uh, about 10 minutes and the antenna is assembled, all uh, set to go. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and mount this thing upstairs inside my attic and uh, the next videos hopefully we'll see how it works. Thanks for watching. labeled on here. So they're showing 50 to 900 megahertz on that. I don't know why that's separated. Uh, 25 to one and a half gigahertz. So, so oh, hmm. not sure.